Hey everyone, how's your NCLEX review going? Today we will be talking about myxedema coma, okay? So again, I do want to apologize if you do hear um, noise and tinkering in the background. That's my lovely infant daughter uh, playing. So again, we're going to be talking about myxedema coma. So we all know it's basically a loss of brain function, right? Uh, usually as a result of severe hypothyroidism or an untreated uh, hypothyroidism, right? Again, I do apologize, the background noise. And it's considered, it is considered a life-threatening um, complication, okay? And what are the signs and symptoms in our patient? Usually what we see is a depressed um, respirations. And usually these are significantly depressed respirations. Therefore, our uh, PaCO2, or PaCO2 or the, the partial pressure of uh, carbon dioxide in the arterial blood would actually be uh, increased to compromise um, the decrease of respiration, right? And obviously the normal, as we all know, the normal um, uh, PaCO2 is between 35 and 45 millimeters of mercury, okay? You need to know your, your values. That's very important. Also, what we would notice is a, uh, a decrease in cardiac output. So it's actually not an increase, but a decrease. I don't know why I have an increase here, but it would be a decrease in cardiac output for, with our patient, right? And it would be a severe cerebral hypoxia right, which is a decrease in uh, oxygenation within the tissues. So what are the main nursing interventions that we need to do? Uh, basically, we need to maintain our airway. Uh, we need to uh, have IV fluid replacement to our patient. Uh, we also do need to provide continuous uh, EKG monitoring with our patient, okay? Now, in regards with pharmacology, uh, we... Uh, we're going to be giving thyroid. I'm sorry again, guys, for the background noise. Uh, we will be giving thyroid hormone therapy, right? And uh, the main uh, NCLEX drug for hypothyroidism and mixed edema coma is um, levothyroxine, right, or Synthroid. Now, also remember, there, there, there are a few things that you do have to know while um, giving Synthroid. We do have to take note that... Uh, the client is at risk for cardiac complications if the the metabolic rate is increased too quickly, right? Therefore, we do have to monitor, monitor the cardiac system, right? So, uh, since the the patient could be could have could be cardiovascularly compromised, right? And the symptoms for that are palpitations, uh, shortness of breath, chest pains, and uh, also tachycardia and or rapid heart rate. Okay, so again. I'm just making this uh, short and straight to the point, guys. I want it to be less than five minutes, and I will be going over other other um, NCLEX uh, diseases in the future. Thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate your time. Thank you so much, and thank you for your patience. God bless. Bye-bye.